Hey boys, welcome to some Beer Pro action. The uh, the mainstay series of Rugby League Live 3 was obviously going to return in Rugby League Live 4 and uh, we have chosen to play in the Queensland Cup with, uh, with the Redcliffe Dolphins. I think in Rugby League Live 3 we actually um, went with the under 20 Broncos team but I, I wanted to play in the Queensland Cup. Uh, there's our player there, fullback of course. And uh, there's the skills. We're only 40 overall. It's uh, it's shocking. It's a, it, it's a pretty rough start. Like I feel like they could have like let you start off a little bit higher because like the average Queensland Cup player is like mid 50s, and then pushing up some of the players are like 70. Um, and I think under 20s would be like mid 50 to to 60 as well. So I feel like starting off at like 40 is is pretty low. Um. And the other thing that's confusing about the Beer Pro um, is you can't actually upgrade your speed and stamina and strength stats. Um, you saw with the attributes there, like there's a lot of stuff you, you can upgrade, like kicking and passing and uh, the fend and the sidestep and all that sort of stuff. But apparently uh, the Big Ant, Big Ant member on the forums actually... He clarified it. He said that the like the speed and the strength and all that just upgrades as you progress. And we look at our team here. We actually have Sam Thorne. When I was watching um, the boys run out, I'm like, that looks. He looks very familiar. But we do have Sam Thorne in the team. It's a really strong lineup. Christian Hazard, uh, Matthew Lodge on the bench there. Um, unfortunately, well, I, I don't know if it's unfortunate. Lodge is a bit of a uh, a moron, but. Uh, he apparently is not going to be pursuing rugby league with um, the fines and stuff. But man, he was Matthew Lodge was honestly killing it in the in the Queensland Cup. He he would have he would have played NRL next year. You would have imagined, but uh, he is not going to be doing so. I, I would imagine he. I'm sure he could change his mind. But uh, yeah, we have a really strong side coming up against the Magpies, who are uh, who have a strong side as well. Often Gowie, uh, you got George Fy, Travis Waddell. Um, Jermaine Azarko, just, I, I'm excited to play in the Queensland Cup here, because I, I like, the Queensland Cup is such a good competition, and there's, there's going to be a lot of, like, NRL players, like, the, it's funny that Thida is there, because, um, I'm, uh, I'm curious to see who's in the Broncos team, but, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's good to be back in Beer Pro, it's really, uh, it's really exciting stuff, this is, like I said, the mainstay of the series, and, uh, I think Beer Pro is actually going to be pretty darn good in this game. Now, this 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 is my first ever Beer Pro bit of action for Rugby League Live 4. So, getting used to it all, it is it is a bit different um, in terms of like calling for the pass. You can't, it just seems like you can't get it from the dummy half. Maybe if you're like 5 at a halfback, you can. But at a fullback, I just, if you press triangle, you, he doesn't actually give it to you. One off the ruck, you get a, a nice little step right there happening. But... It's a little bit different, that's for sure. Um, also, Matt Minto in the uh, the Magpie side, but they're going to score first with that man, Jermaine Azarko. Not playing at fullback, he's playing at centre, which is a little strange. He can't play anywhere in the back line, but just, uh, I think he just gets on the outside, one-on-one -on -one with, I think it was Christian Hazard, and uh, a little bit too, a little bit too strong, a little bit too quick as uh, Matt Minto looks to convert. It's a very good halfback, Matt Minto. Uh, but yeah, this, I was talking about the Beer Pro being uh, very good in this game. And unfortunately, the, one of my bigger gripes with Rugby League Live 4 is that Beer Pro and Career Mode haven't really been touched at all. There's, there are a few um, tweaks and stuff. You can call for the kick in Beer Pro now. And uh, like Career Mode, there's a, there's a couple of neat things. But uh, it's a little disappointing that it hasn't been um, touched as much as I thought. Like, re like sort of made a little a little bit better but you know in terms of being better just the way the AI plays because I don't do it much in this game and this this gameplay is not going to be a good example of um of how good be a pro can be as we we go for a kick early here just looking to get some early touches not a not a bad kick off the boot there our, our kicking stat I put a fair bit into our kicking attributes but our Cummins here is going to go straight past us our stamina is absolutely fucked already just because we're so low rated that's uh that's a that's a bit of a gripe of mine as well but um 
yeah, the AI plays a lot better, and you can actually, you can call the set plays um, at the fullbacks. Right, I don't know what the hell they're doing, <laughs> doing here. Travis Waddell is going to get the offload away. They almost get away with it there. I, they were mucking around uh, with the ball there, but you can actually call the set play yourself. So you actually, I do it a bit in, <laughs> what is that pass? But in future games, you'll see it happen a bit. Like, I'll call the set plays, and then I'll know where they're going to pass it, because a lot of times in Beer Pro, you don't have any idea where they're going to pass the ball. As we get cleaned up. <laughs> Penifer there absolutely nails us, you know, it's pretty good to see, even though it was us getting absolutely destroyed, but yeah, and when you call a set play, you actually know where the AI is going to focus the play, and you can actually line up in position, so in future episodes, uh, in future games, I can, I'll actually take more advantage of that, in this game, I... I only realized it like halfway through that, oh, I can actually, I can call for the plays as well. So, yeah, like right here, I'm like, yeah, we can we can set up to the left and I'll know they're going to go out here and we can do something. So a nice little inside pass. It doesn't actually work out, but just the uh, the options are there. And uh, Beer Pro, I think it's going to be, it's going to be a lot better. And one thing that will make it a lot better is when we level up a bit. Because, yeah, one thing that it bugged me about Rugby League Live 3 and uh, I'm, uh, I'm a little disappointed it's not like um made better in this game is the stamina because you start off so lowly rated and then like you'll see in this the second half we've literally we've got no stamina um they must have changed the fact that you get injured because i had no stamina for the whole second half and i didn't i didn't get injured so a nice little kick there we almost get a try but <laughs> I, I don't know who that was chasing through it might be matthew lodge actually i don't know who it was but he almost got to the ball, but Cummins picked it up, almost raced away. Uh, but this is going to be a loose ball, and it's going to be to uh, Thompson Tete here. Another absolute gun for the Dolphins. Uh, PNG uh, local. Used to play for the Hunters, but did sign with the, the Dolphins. One of, their, one of their absolute guns, and he is, he is a very, very good outside back. Thompson Tete is Christian Hazard. He's going to line up the conversion. Um... But yeah, what was I talking about? The stamina, yeah. I, I like, I, I just don't like that because we're so low rated. But uh, I've, I've said this before that just because you're like a young player, I don't know why your stamina should be so low as Levea here. It's just going to go straight through. We just, we, we couldn't get across. We couldn't get across to make the tackle. He brushed off the, uh, the lock there and we were just a bit too slow. We couldn't make the tackle, couldn't make the ground. So, unfortunately, the Magpies, we just got back into contention and they're going to hit back straight away to uh, to push it out to that six-point lead. Once again, Matt Minto does not miss. But, yeah, I, uh, I would just like the stamina to just be increased across the board because it, it's just a bit annoying, really, because the first few games, there's nothing you can do. Like, I... It's not like I was sprinting all over the place. Like, you take a few runs, and then your stamina is pretty much gone. So, that, that's an issue. But, you know, it's just going to take time as uh, we're going to line up a 40-20. Uh, we uh, we kick it a little wayward, almost down on the full. But uh, it's, a, it's a decent kick. We'll, uh, we'll have a look where it lands. So, right there, I was trying to call for the pass off the dummy half. But, yeah, it doesn't actually give it to you, which is, you know... Um, we almost get the 40-20. Not a bad, not a bad kick as the intercept happens here. Lafayette <laughs> going in, looking to get his second try. Thankfully, he didn't get it. Uh, but right here, we... <laughs> oh, that was good to watch. Uh, I don't know who got leveled. It might have been Minto, but just raced up out of the line. The prop and just nailed him. It was it was good to see. Um, but right here, <laughs> it's kind of looks so stupid. But I was actually, I was trying to... I was trying to work out how to actually call for a kick, and I thought, oh, we'll call for a kick here, see if we can actually run through and do a little bit of trick play, but they actually passed me the ball, and I I guess I, I kicked it, so <laughs> unfortunately, the turnover happened, and then on the back of that, an offload, and another try to the Magpies, who have pretty much put this game out of reach for us, unfortunately, so our first game is going to be a loss, but... Yeah, we, we're a little bit of a passionate passenger at the back of the minute, just with the stamina, but like I, like I was going to say, as <laughs> we do get to put a shot on, oh, that was good. He brushed through one tackle. I was I was pretty annoyed at uh, the state of play here, and uh, we try to go for it. We, <laughs> we level him. It was good stuff. I didn't mention, actually, we are playing 
on pro difficulty. I, I thought we'd go on pro. I don't want to go any higher at the minute. Just so we can actually do a little bit of stuff, you know. If we go any higher, we won't be able to make any tackle breaks. So, um, it's on pro difficulty, which is still still a challenge. And the AI do some good stuff. So, yeah, we'll, uh, you know, we'll play a bit longer. Get the stamina up. And uh, it should be pretty good as we do. We almost concede another try. But thankfully, the uh, the prop comes up with a big tackle. And we actually finish him off there with the low tackle. And that's going to be full time. Hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy this series. I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, I think the beer pro in this is going to be a lot funner in terms of the AI actually doing more stuff. Uh, not, a, not a great example of that game. You know, we were getting into it and obviously we were shot ducks at the end there. But look at that. 15 runs, 95 meters, a uh, few tackles, seven tackles, a couple of line breaks, and a couple of kicks. But hopefully you guys look forward to more to come. There's going to be plenty more and I'll see you guys in the next one.